All right, so every week I get thousands of letters saying, Peter, so-called draws, nice YouTube channel and all, but when are you going to show us how to make expensive art, you know, a way to really make bank and uh, rake in the dough like any successful artist really wants to do? You know, because we all know that making tons of money is what art is really all about, and the only reason why... Uh, anyone does it. So what you want to do is grab a piece of paper and uh, a couple of art supplies of your choice. The simpler the better. The straight, you know, just keep it simple, straightforward. And uh, I chose a Sharpie and a Crayola marker here. I chose a red one. Uh, and then just begin drawing some lines. Now you don't want to, uh, you can either go two directions with this. You can make it either look like exactly something. You know, you can either draw a boy holding a red balloon. That way people know what it is and they don't have to wonder what it is. They can just wonder what it means. Uh, you know, what's the symbolism? What's the, uh, what, is it, what's the, what does it mean on a deeper level? And uh, they'll feel better about themselves if they can uh, figure it out for themselves and uh, tell themselves it and uh, tell each other, uh, you know, what the balloon means, what the boy means, maybe the boys themselves, or society, and the balloon is, or you can go in another direction and draw something very abstract, and then people can look at it, and just out of the blue, um, they can say, look, those strange looking lines, uh, that is a boy holding a balloon, even though I know it doesn't look like a boy, and it only vaguely looks like a balloon, trust me, that's a boy holding a balloon. So uh, both of these approaches give people uh, ways to feel good about looking at art and figuring out art. Um, so those are ways you can do it. Now, how to make it expensive? This is, um, you know, to make things expensive, you can either charge a lot for one piece of art or mass produce art and, uh, you know, charge a little bit for each each of the many things you make. For this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna charge a lot for the one thing I'm making. Um, so once you draw it, once you finish drawing it, uh, don't spend too much time drawing it if you're just making one thing, because then you're just cutting into your profits. So I'm just gonna spend a minute or two drawing this. Uh, you know, pro tip, just if you're gonna use, if you're gonna use any colors, just use one color maybe, I choose red. And uh, once you're done with it, uh, go ahead and throw it in a nice looking frame to impress people. People take nice looking frames very seriously. Uh, go to any like nice art museum where there's expensive art and a lot of that stuff is in really nice frames. So get a nice frame, invest in that. I would I would recommend it. It'll I know it'll cut in your profits a lot, but your profits are gonna be massive. All right. Uh, so then yeah, throw it in a nice frame and then to make it expensive, uh, just go ahead and uh, put it up on your website or take it to flea market or whatever, and just put a, put it up there for like a million bucks. And of course, once you put it up there for a million bucks, some rich person is gonna want it just because once it's a million dollars, they can have it, and uh, anyone else that can't afford it can't have it. So they'll feel good about buying it just because they can. So, boom. And then you'll have a million dollars. and they'll have a million dollars less. That's capitalism and art shaking hands. It's a beautiful thing. All right, yeah, so uh, make, uh, how to make expensive art, 101 pro tips uh, from, from Peter, draws. All right, see you guys later.